Do you think there's a bit of a divide potentially between bird watchers and, and wildlife photographers? Yeah, there is a bit of a divide, and I feel, um, I mean, even there's a, the, I mean, I think there's even a divide among like photographers as well, because I think the two sayings are you're either a photographer, or no, no, sorry, three, you're either a photographer, a birder, or a birder with a camera. But there's a lot of people who say you're not a birder with a camera, that doesn't exist, you're just a photographer or just a birder. Um, but I, I would absolutely count myself in the, yeah, well, I saw a bit of both, to be honest. I mean, I like to <laughs> photograph the birds I see, but yeah. I'm not going to go out of my way just to, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go on and like, pay, you know, it was sort of going in paid hides and things like that. I, I really don't like stuff like that. I just see it as no. completely cheating. So I, I mean, like all those, I mean, you get, you get some fantastic photos, obviously, from those sort of places and they go in know great guys because the only real way you can get fantastic pictures of birds like four finches and to do is to go in one of those hides and you know just one weird example but um i i i don't i i, I wouldn't do that stuff at all but i think that, i think there definitely is a divide and i think it often because you do get a lot of irresponsible photographers who give the rest of that bracket that sort of species a bad name um, so there were some shocking photos at um, Benton Cliffs that I saw back in the summer of two. Um, I mean, I've never been to Benton Cliffs, but I know there's like a fence that goes all the way along the top of the cliffs. I'm sure you yeah. know this. Um, and there, there was two or three people who just obviously jumped the fence and were right up against the cliff side and taking, you know, trying to get better photos of gannets and puffins and whatever else is there. And I just thought, well, is a death wish really just to get a better photo of a yeah. gannet? This is, it's really given us a bad name and um, same with the vulture to be honest i know um some not all some are great some photographers are really great really respectful they like getting photos they like to do it in a safe way so do i that's absolutely fine but there were some people who sort of went down the valley to get closer and closer to the vulture when it was in his first roots um first roost site um at howden moor in derbyshire and that's just not on so um there is a divide you get it's, it's like it's like any sort of you know area of society there's there's a divide some are more responsible and some are you know more irresponsible um and that's it really <laughs>